in. Let's start with a couple strands of our meat getty, which surprisingly tastes an awful lot like a meatball in spaghetti form. The spag balls are, frankly, ridiculous because as soon as you try to cut them open, they explode. They make about as much sense as an asshole on your elbow, but it is kind of cool to grab one and eat it like an apple. That being said, as you can imagine, I think we can do a whole lot better. How's that, donkey? So if you try out this recipe and it works, you have to subscribe to my channel. Fair enough? So let's do this. Equal parts butter, flour into a pan. I'm using wholemeal flour because I like the nutty flavor. So cook this till you sort of left with this stiff, crumbly dough. I'm using three eggs. So we want the texture of shoe pastry. Even the milk. What you're looking for is a sort of a soft dough that's really light. You might need more, maybe less milk depending on what flour you use. And then we're going to season some salt, a little bit of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder and loads of parmesan cheese. Work that in to your dough. Taste a bit. Get a pan of salty boiling water on. Once the water is boiling, let's make our meat kelly. Oops. One thing Babish was right about was we need to make this mince beef into the texture of a sausage meat. So we're going to season it with salt, teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, dried oregano, and my personal touch, which I think makes beef taste beefier, dried coriander seed. And now we're going to work this minced beef till it's almost the texture of sausage. And I'm going to add about 50 grams of strong flour, the gluten in the flour will give the the meat get the meat ketty meat ketty such a weird word. But I'm just calling that because Babish called it that the meat ketty the elasticity that it needs. And then back to work because I'm a donkey. Work your meat. Sit aside and roll out some parchment. Nice square. And another piece the same size. Slap on your meat and start pressing it out. You don't want this too thin, but you want it thin enough to resemble spaghetti. Well, that thin, and then, and then into our oven at 160 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. So now we're gonna roll a few little dumpling balls. And then we're going to stick them in the freezer for like 15 minutes just so they set up. Okay, so our meat thing only needed 10 minutes. I just checked it. And it's cooked. So. Now. I'm just going to slice. Really thin slices. To form little. Ribbons of meat getty, as Babish called it, uh, into a bowl. Set aside. So now, I've cooked some pasta 
but I didn't think I need to show you how to cook pasta. Just follow the instructions on the packet or oh, eight minutes is always good. And now our little dumplings, parmesan dumplings is set. I dust them with a bit of flour just for the spaghetti to have something to hold on to. And now we have the tedious job of wrapping our little balls and spaghetti. So we're going to start at the top and wind it around. This is the only way you're going to make a spag ball as Babish knows it. And inside is sort of a pasta dumpling dough bit like a gnocchi so you get a little parmesan but still have the spaghetti meatball thing you want the spaghetti to be really starchy so don't put any oil or anything I would even dust it with a bit of flour as well and then just keep winding that spaghetti around your dumpling like so until your whole dumpling is covered till you're left with a spat ball like that like an oval ball but that's the best I can do and now we have to steam these because if we boil them they're gonna fall apart if you don't have a steamer you can just use one of these and stick them in like that I'm going to use my big spider because it's big. Put that over there and then place my spag balls carefully, gently. Cover and let them steam for about five minutes. So five minutes later, your spag balls should be ready. Get them out into a bowl. Turn them with some olive oil. Now let's plate up. So I've just heated my meat sketty in the oven a bit. Put a tomato sauce. Um, for my tomato sauce recipe, that should just pop on screen right about now. Um, yeah, just follow. I've got two recipes in my essential sources for home cooks to check that out and then I'll spack balls look at that hey who would have thought challenge me to anything and I will do it and I mean anything food related where there's a will there's a way a bit more sauce on the little spag balls some of parmesan bit of green and there you have it and now the only thing left to do is to try I'll Back balls and meat kitty. <laughs> hey, babies, I think you should try this recipe again, mate. If you love spaghetti and meatballs, well, you're gonna love this. It tastes like spaghetti and meatballs. But it looks like meat getty and spag balls. No, this is not me trying to be babish 
And for those of you who do not know who I am, I am Chef Donkey. What the hell, man? It's just me being a donkey. And for you, and for you, I bring you into my kitchen. Welcome to the show. It's a beautiful show. 